excited about for the year ahead and you start a fresh leaf, whether this is just your first year in school or your last, the start of a new school year is a time that you can make a change. What do you want to achieve this year? Do you want to pass your exams? Do you want to make new friends? Or do you want to learn more about that one particular subject? Or do you just want a fresh start without that teacher and other students remembering what you were like last year? Let me tell you something. Right now is the best chance that you will ever get to change those things. The best thing that you can do today is to make a step in the direction that your future self will be thankful for. Let's spend a minute and think about a clean slate, a new beginning. Maybe you've always been known as the naughty kid or the one who always hands in homework late. Would you like to be able to start again? Let me tell you a story about someone who did just that. There was once a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector. In the days of Zacchaeus, tax collectors had a lot of power. They weren't checked or regulated like they are today. Zacchaeus was alive at the same time as Jesus. On this day, Jesus had entered a town called Jericho and he was passing through. Zacchaeus was in Jericho and wanted to see Jesus for who he was. However, he had one problem. He was short. He was a small man. I don't know if any of you feel that problem. Maybe you're a small person who always struggles to see someone at a concert or a festival. I'm sure you know his pain. Anyway, back to the story. Zacchaeus was too short to see Jesus, and so he ran ahead and climbed up a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way already. When Jesus reached that spot, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. I don't know about you, but if someone who I had never met before knows my name and invites himself to my house, I'd be a bit shocked. I don't know about you. But guess what? Zacchaeus welcomed him in. He came down from the tree and welcomed him gladly into his home. Zacchaeus was, by society's standards, a bad man. He stole money from people and kept it for himself. And so naturally, the people in the city began to mumble. He's gone to the house of a sinner. What's going on? They're talking about Jesus here. Zacchaeus stood up in response and said to Jesus, Look, Lord, here and now I give half my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone out of anything, I will pay back four times that amount. Zacchaeus changed. Something inside of him had already changed. He went from being this jealous, greedy man and now wanting to give half his possessions to the poor. The story of Zacchaeus saw a new beginning in his life. And do you know why? He gladly welcomed Jesus into his house. New beginnings are possible for you too. You too can welcome Jesus into your home and into your heart and there'll be a new beginning within you. Things will change and guess what? People might grumble just as they did to Zacchaeus but that's okay. If this is a new beginning, this fresh start is something that you truly want to accept. This should be the beginning of something really exciting. The best thing that you can do to make a change tomorrow is to take a step today.